How did this movie affect other movie makers? Well, you know, I don't think it really did. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they, they went to see it and took notice of it. Uh, but I, I fear that, uh, that they most of them probably sort of said, well, yes, that's art house filmmaking, uh, and I'm in the business of making commercial movies, uh, and, and so it really didn't have a, a direct and lasting effect. Um, although, as I say, uh, the, the, the images, particularly the, 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 the final image of the uh, characters on the skyline, uh, well, and, and I mean, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, uh, you did have a, a death figure following them around, uh, so uh, it, it had, as it were, permeated into uh, movie mythology, uh, but I don't think people really uh, felt they wanted to make films uh, on this vein because I think they, they regarded them as you know, minority interests uh, and that um, also that it was not a, a collective piece of filmmaking, that it was very much uh, Bergman, uh, and I would say in this context that Bergman is one of the few writer directors who I think had uh, quality in, in both departments uh, and that, uh, well, the, the, the one comparable to me is Billy Wilder, uh, who, who was just as good a writer as he was a director. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I, I, I think directors should not write their own scripts. Uh, but with Bergman, quite obviously, he he did just, well, I can, the only one I can quote is uh, Virgin Spring. Um, he, he did once make a, a film from somebody else's script, but otherwise I think he always wrote his own script. And uh, that was really the only way that he, uh, he, he could make his movies.